1021, we move outermost parentheses. Uh, a valid parentheses string is either empty, uh, I don't know how to say it, like left paren, right paren, and then there's one with the a in the middle, a plus b, where a, a and b are valid parentheses strings. And plus represents string concatenation. For example, that's just an example valid parentheses strings. Uh, a valid parentheses string is primitive if it's not empty and there does not exist a way to split it into s plus b. Okay, that's interesting. And a and b with a and b not empty valid parentheses strings. I mean that makes sense. Uh, given a valid parentheses s, consider its primitive decomposition. Return s after removing the outer parentheses of every primitive string in the primitive decomposition of s. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think so. My my. I mean, it's a easy, and it it's just a mouthful. But I don't think you made. I feel like it's not sh sh uh very hard, but maybe there's some uh <laughs> maybe there's some edge case I haven't considered, and there's a lot of downloads. <laughs> but that's just a little bit of meta. Uh, but I think yeah. Anytime you see uh these kind of uh parentheses stuff or um. And parentheses is probably the place where it comes up more, but but a lot a lot of like balancing left and the right and stuff like this. Uh, what I usually like the, my first impression is, is to uh, is stacks, right? Uh, and that would kind of push and pop and stuff. And in this case, uh, my 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 quick dot is just uh, push everything in the stack. And well, what what is an outermost uh, or yeah, what is an out of most parentheses in this case, that means uh, when you pop something off the stack and go from 0 to 1, then you just don't print it. And I think maybe that's good enough. And then in all the other cases, when you pop, you uh, you print with it. Uh, yeah, and then you could do some like boolean values and then just in the end do one more pass. There are ways to do it without the extra pass, but uh, I think for me it's just easier to understand or just think about. Uh, so I'm going to try to do it that way. Uh, and let me know if y'all have questions as you follow along, hopefully. Or, <laughs> as my friend said, uh, I can pause this video and then come back to me somehow, even though this is a live stream, but uh, and try it at home. <laughs> uh, hmm. Cool, okay. So uh, it's usually I just literally label my stuff stack, at least in Python it makes sense, kind of. Um, okay, for I just call them operations. I'm used to calling them operations because this is uh, uh, like for me, it, it's kind of like parsing, and that's kind of how you would parse it. Uh, like this, you center like a language of some sort, uh, some weird way. But um, okay, so if this is equal to the left ones, then we push it onto the stack. Uh, oh, and then we have to do a. I just say uh, should use really well let's say n is length of s um just put it and uh and then we put uh what's that do we need to index um, push this on stack um otherwise i just don't know the types actually so and this is always a valid string, yep, okay. Uh, one thing to note, uh, which I usually try to, but uh, in this problem, um, in this problem, because I f feel like there's a stack thing, there's a, that means it's O of N, and O of N is going to be fast enough, just because that's how much time it would take for you to read in the data anyway. Um, but definitely uh, look at the constraint more sometimes. Um, in this case, n is equal to 10,000, so that means like you can't even think about anything higher than O of n. Uh, I mean, n log n maybe, depending on the thing, but uh, but that usually just means sorting or dividing and conquer, which in this case, uh, I guess you could kind of just call it that, but it, it wouldn't be, it, it would still be like n square um, type things. So yeah, okay, so I actually in this case I could just do else. Uh, and then we could just pop. Mm, so old index, I say. Oh, I is equal to pop. Uh, and then now we check. 
because we don't want the outermost one. So we would check to see if length, because if the stack is now empty, then that was the outermost one. So if it's not zero actually, whoops. If it's not empty, that means it's one of the inner ones. Then we should do, should we? Uh, let's just say, let's set the current one to true and also set the thing that we pop to true. Um, and then now we just have to return the results. It's just a string. And then now we can do you and should use. <laughs> That's actually a terrible naming bit. Um, oh, if. Oh, again, we need to index on this one. If you, then. Um, oh, oh, S of I. That's roughly right. Uh, and you can make some comments about string concat, but um, did I misread this? No, my expected is right, but oh, sorry, my output looks to be equal to the test case though. Not sure why. Maybe the code's having some issues. Okay, let's put the other one too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this time the the problem went away, and I have good stuff. So let's submit it. Cool. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's faster than most. I get. I find I never know. I mean, I, I actually don't know how, like, what is the variance on the code. I've heard it's something like, like, you could use it, it goes up and down like 20 to 30 milliseconds, but usually, uh, for me, that's why that, um, as long as, like, it's more binary and that as long as it passed within a reasonable time, then it's good. I don't really try to optimize that much. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I think I explained my logic with this problem, uh, while I was going through it. So, yeah, and I, I've definitely seen a lot of stack ish. Uh, stack related problems uh, in my interviewing days, so uh, definitely pop up on it. Uh, this was a, I want to say, uh, oh, there's no timing on this. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say this is okay. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's straightforward, it's just that it's expected, so definitely, pra uh, yeah, practice. And yeah, I mean, I know obviously everything's off end, uh, and the space is also off end because that's your. You know that's going to be your result size kind of so i uh, can really do better than that um yeah, unless this is n square but that's another <laughs> but that's just string concatenation stuff uh which actually i think in pipeline is not but um maybe i'm wrong actually no don't quote me on that one <laughs> but yeah uh overall still easy so i think they expect you to know how to do it uh even if i don't know why there's so many downloads i mean it's not the best problem in the world, but it's not the worst problem in the world. I mean, it seems interesting actually, because uh, I think the key on this one is just figuring out that um, uh, actually the line that I was on, line thirteen, where like how do you count, like what's an outer most parentheses? So I think in that sense is a good-ish problem in that um, you know it takes something that's very basic and then ask you about properly on what it means to be using that stack without. Um, about being explicit, like, hey, this is what you do, right? Because, uh, yeah, and you have to kind of make that uh, mental conversion between like what an outer parenthesis is and what it means to be on the stack state. So, yeah, I mean, overall, pretty okay.